I was eating a, a burger. And now it's gonna be the revenge. It's gonna be a big revenge. It's finally here, the trilogy. We got the God of Meat, Davison Figueredo taking on Brandon Moreno, the assassin baby. And we were at the fight when Brandon Moreno managed to get that second round submission. Uh, it was a pretty cool moment. You got to admit, I know you're a bullish on God of Meat, but you know he was just walking around in a trance. It took him like 10 to 15 seconds to realize uh, what he had just accomplished. And then you saw everything just flood out of Brandon Moreno. And just a really cool moment to be a part of life for sure. And cannot wait for this trilogy because even though the first fight was a draw, uh, I mean, most people scored that one for Davidson Figueroa. If it wasn't for those deducted points, then that would have been a win for Deus de Guerrero. But uh, the second one was a win for the Assassin Baby. So it's the third one. Uh, everything's on the line. Who are you going with in this one? Because the odds have essentially flipped from the from the last time, right? God of War is now a pretty decent plus 150 dog. A lot of love for the Mexican champion, minus 180. So uh, I know who you're going with, but uh, let the Meat Boys know who, who you're taking in this trilogy. Yeah, this is such a great fight. And man, such a tough one to decide who to pick. I mean, oh... You know, both these guys are absolute savages, but let's be real. I mean, the assassin baby gonna be the god of war? I don't think so. This card's absolute heat, but only for one reason, because the god of meat is on it, not because Brandon Moreno's on it too. Uh, and he's absolute dog doo doo. I mean, he's going to get absolutely slept. Um, first round KO. I don't think he's ready. I think he's been having too much fun in Legoland, you know, jumping on Francis Ngannou's back, doing a lot of weird stuff. Um, while God of Me's been locked down with Henry Cejudo, Triple C, and what other coach or better training partner when it would be the GOAT himself, C4. Let's just say it like that, to be honest. Um, I think uh, Davidson Figueroa is going to absolutely smash. I love the odds I'm seeing. I love no one's picking him. Uh, I'm so bullish on this guy. People are sleeping and forget how good he is. Hopefully, he's got his diet in check because... Last time it was a little weird, but hopefully nothing weird with the stomach or weight. Um, that's going to upset me. Then I'm totally going to flop my pick if that's the case. But if everything goes smooth and his weight is on check and he's not 20 pounds over or throwing up or being weird or drinking too much wine with Ca Paulo Costa, Davidson figure has got this in the bag. Yeah, I, I feel that. And now, the first uh, episode of Embedded came out today, and you know there were moments of Figueredo in the sauna, and he looked pretty good. He looked focused. He looked pretty ripped up, uh, but he didn't look sucked out, right? He looked like he was at a healthy weight. So you hope that there aren't any complications uh, with that, because you know he is getting older, right? He, I mean, he's only 34 years old, but that weight cut is pretty tough for him because he is a thick boy when he gets in there. He's absolutely jacked, and uh, I'm very curious to see get in this third contest and as you mentioned 75 percent is rolling with the assassin baby majority by decision i was a little bit shocked to see that do you think that i mean obviously you're going with god of meat you said early finish uh do you think that it's possible that, th that this thing lasts you know three four maybe even goes the distance or do you think that you know figueredo is going to get that finish or if he loses he might get finished himself is it an early early ending you think man this is such a tough one you know i i Personally, I'll, I'm just going to stick away from this in general because I could see it being finished choked by either guy. I could see it being finished KO by either guy. Um, and decision, I could see that happening too because the first fight, what, went to decision. Second fight, got the submission. Um, weight wasn't on check second fight, so, you know, that was that was not a real win. You know, that was a BS win. The real champ, Davis and Figueredo, but it is what it is. Um, he's going to get that strap back ASAP. Uh, that is my boy, the god of meat. Um, but... I think it could go to decision, but I'm going with KO, Figgy. Man, I'm so tough on this one. This is another one of those contests where, you know, I, I entered it unsure of where I would go because it's so easy to try and make a case for both of these guys. I think these two are uh, maybe the best we've ever seen in the division. They are, you know, truly uh, that go of go. And I know that, you know, Davidson Figueredo was extremely competitive in that first contest. He, I mean, he... He pretty much won that fight, right? But there was something about that second one that, you know, it seemed almost like the weight of the belt coming into that contest was too much. And that's what I'm wondering, you know, if that at all can affect the Assassin Baby because it was that, you know, meteoric rise, that amazing story to get to the belt. But now defending it is a, you know, a whole nother beast. And uh, in this one, I think he's going to defend it. Uh, ultimately, I think that Brandon Moreno is getting this done over the God of Meat. I kind of am envisioning 
uh, Brandon Moreno being like the John Jones to DC, uh, except being that to Davidson Figueredo. I, I think there's some sort of mental roadblock that uh, he's not going to be able to get through the assassin baby. And uh, I don't know. I'm, it's not the most confident of picks. Uh, I'm not going to bet the house on it personally, uh, but I think Moreno finds a way to get this one done. Uh, am I tripping? Am I casual? It's pretty casual, but in all honesty, uh, <laughs> this is a true pick 'em, pick 'em. But let's be real, you're a casual if you're not picking Gotta Meet, just putting it like that.